The parents had to sign a paper for us to attend um, the um, integrated high school. A lot of the parents did not sign because they were kind of fearful. They did not know what might happen. That was a very tense time of integration. That was new to everybody. So you, you didn't really know what the outcome was going to be. In Ohio and some of the other southern states um, that inter integrated before uh, Virginia did, there were um, outbreaks of um, violence, um, not on the term of the black students or black people, but because they did not want integration done at that particular time. So um, the students or the children, that was their time to, to integrate because I guess like the armed services, we're not aware, we're more likely to be more free to try new things. I know I did because we were in um, segregated schools and I wanted to go to the white school to find out the, the difference in, in people. So when I went there, I found out that we were all the same. You know, we, we like to play sports, you know. Uh, the parents had the same um, problems of their children going to school or getting them to do homework. Um, all of this, the problems of the blacks and the whites were, were, were the same. But um, when, before the integration, we thought that, it. I thought it was a, a big difference. You know, people are people. It doesn't matter what their uh, ethnic background is. When I attended um, Stony Creek High School, I rode a bus. I was only black on the bus. My youngest brother walked most of the time, but I refused to walk because we, it was a um, highway, and I didn't like to for the big trucks to, to pass by. And students said mean things. One, well, there were many, uh, you know, a lot of things that went on or said, but one of the most vivid things was they were talking about um, a Klang meeting on the bus. Now, I'm the only black on the bus, what do I supposed to do? So I asked them, I said, well, what time is the meeting? So that kind of cut that conversation because they thought that I might show up and they could not explain <laughs> it to their parents. And um, it was always a seat left for me so that I could sit down because a lot of the students did not want to sit be beside me because of the color of my skin. So um, it was a, a tense moment in time and I learned later that uh, um, a lot of the people checked with my father, with my parents to see how um, I was doing at the school and a lot of the uh, leaders in, in the community was willing to go to the school and you know, chit chat with anybody to make sure that we were safe. No, I will have to say no because of the stigma that would have been placed upon the um, white students. Um, they would have been considered of lacking black um, students and that was definitely a no-no. Um, I did have a student who wanted to be friends with me. When she was not when she realized that we were on one one to one basis, you know, we would have a conversation, we would talk about sports, and just have general chit chat as teenagers would normally have. But when some of her Caucasian friends would approach us, then she would stop and she might, ha she would say something that was negative or mean to me just to save face with her Caucasian friends.